standing out from a number of leaders who win the hearts of their colleagues by bribing them, creating corruption is not an easy thing. The recent attempt to overthrow President Ibrahim Trawuri has tested the trustworthy of the military of Burkina Faso, which is not only focusing on President Ibrahim Trawuri himself, but looking at the broader picture, which involves rejuvenating what has been a suffering country. These trustworthy soldiers didn't just send a wake-up call to Burkina Bays, but also sending the same signals to the entire African continent, mainly the sub-Saharan sub-countries. Ever since President Ibrahim Trawuri's rise to power, the issue of destabilizers, not only the long-term militant groups, but also traitors and those looking at just obtaining and regaining power to rule Burkina Faso have and continuing to make headlines. This recent attempt is not only being taken as the usual ones, but also leaving everyone extremely shocked due to the huge sums of money injected to ensure that the captain is gone for good. If you want to smoothen the process, use money, and if you want the process to be smoother, use even more money. Splashing over 5 billion CFA francs, that is over 8 million US dollars to persuade a person to stop being loyal to someone, is a huge test which not only a mere African, but also a good number of people will find it hard to pass over. After using various ways to destabilize Burkina Faso and also overthrow President Ibrahim Trawuri, using huge sums of money to bribe soldiers was as if among the remaining solutions to execute already failed plans. Behaving as being ready to take that huge offer and in return expose those behind this plot has been a huge milestone the Burkinabi army has attained concerning analyzing things with deeper sense. These soldiers now know that playing political games when their daughters, sons, Burkina Bay brothers and sisters plus parents are suffering can't take this Sahel country of West Africa anywhere. These soldiers have made everyone to understand that they are not only following a mere leader, but are supportive of his goodwill for Burkina Faso. Yes, everyone wishes to be having some money to put in his pockets, but Africans existed long before the concept of money came into place. These soldiers now have strong questions they carry with them. How could you focus on only obtaining wealth when your country is grappling with long-term suffering? This and more positive questions are on these soldiers' minds, a thing which Burkina Faso needs to obtain its desired freedom. This act by these soldiers showed that they have been listening to President Ibrahim Trawuri's encouragement of patriotism in Burkina Faso. Being the leading example of patriotism, President Ibrahim Trawuri is slowly, but seriously passing the same spirit to his colleagues and Burkina Bays at large. Now, one may ask, what is the next move by destabilizers after this one, which seemed to would have been a successful one? Failing like this is showing these destabilizers that when the serious change has come, no one can easily shake it. 
As President Ibrahim Trawari has always come out to accuse the West and certain neighboring countries of directly supporting destabilizers, what is next? Experts reveal that all this money is coming from the West. The West is continuously looked at as wanting to regain its influence in the Sahel, hence being analyzed as a key facilitator of destabilizers of Burkina Faso and Alliance of States members. President Ibrahim Trawari has managed to show resilience against all this chaos, which is aimed at removing him from all his plans for Burkina Faso. President Ibrahim Trawari is continuously looking for more allies in order to improve the military of Burkina Faso. The new alliances he has entered into have given him more confidence in the fight against all kinds of destabilizers, more especially militant groups. They have set up a kind of security bubble with concentric circles around President Ibrahim Trawari to protect him. We are not the enemy of the French people. It's the policies of those governing France, which is the problem in Africa, Trawari said in one interview broadcast at the state channel RTB. We have to accept seeing each other as equals and accept an overhaul of our entire cooperation, he added. Burkina Faso's pivot towards Russia, among other allies, with the expulsion of the French ambassador, and reopening of the Russian embassy underscores a geopolitical shift that has reshaped Burkina Faso's alliances and strategic partnerships. Amidst allegations of espionage, intolerance towards dissent and a growing rift in diplomatic ties, the dynamics between Burkina Faso and the West are at a critical juncture fraught with uncertainty and conflict. Now, this cash being under the treasury of Burkina Faso. These trustworthy and improved soldiers have created a blessing in disguise for this Sahel country of West Africa. This money can now be put to good use as Burkina Faso needs more funds to facilitate a number of projects that President Ibrahim Trawari needs to be executed and accomplished as soon as possible. This failed coup attempt has immensely reduced the remaining hope. Destabilizers had to overthrow President Ibrahim Trawari and bring back awkward political games in Burkina Faso. It signifies that Africa is now starting to realize the real integrity the continent needs to set itself free from the long time Einst. It has been moving with concerning the real meaning of being in power. A number of African leaders have long been centering their focus on obtaining power to secure their wealthy lifestyles with no clear room for the citizens to have the very much needed basic life. This mindset had spread from the top leaders to the ground counterparts. This coup attempt has exposed those who thought Africans could easily be seduced by just mere papers that can, to some extent, buy happiness but can't buy the real spirit of Pan-Africanism, which is the true value for Africans in general. These soldiers taught the real lesson. The destabilizers needed to realize that Burkina Faso is now ready to move forward, no matter what challenges 